For my legacy, I would just like to be known as a people person, someone that people can count on, someone that people can talk to, because without that, without being able to give advice, it doesn't help anyone. When I got to tech school, I, that's when I first saw the um, pay scale for everyone, and I noticed that you could be a chief in 10 years. And in class, we were talking about it, so I told her, like, you know what, I'm gonna be a chief in 10 years. And our civilian chief instructor said, Airman O'Banna, you won't make crew chief in 10 years. So I said, oh, okay. So from that point, it was just like, maybe I won't make chief. And then I just stuck with it and kept going and making it just happen. The biggest hurdle I had to overcome was when I was stationed at a base in California, went to a squadron and they told me that they did not need my services. And the person in charge of the squadron never looked up off of his computer to see who I was. So then it just inspired me to when I got to the other squadron, just to do the best that I could. What kept me motivated was just doing things that I didn't think I was actually capable of doing because I didn't think that I would make Master Sergeant, and then I didn't think I would make Senior, and now that I've made Chief, it was just one of those things that just kept going and going. I saw other people that I worked with make Chief, and they said, you know what? You could do it. Will you do it? And how will you do it? Lessons I've learned is to always, you know, get to work on time, keep yourself out of trouble, follow the rules, the rules are there for a reason because people have already broken them and it's written down for you. So it's easy just to say, I will follow the line and do the things I'm supposed to do. Ways I deal with stress is I walk a lot. I walk throughout my uh, AMU. I talk to people. I joke with people because every day there's something, there's some type of stress that's gonna mess with you just a little bit and the more you can get away from that stress or get away from those situations, the better it is. The advice I would have for airmen that are looking to make chief would be to just do your job. Find out what people need you to do. Take advantage of those things and just do it. Just do it, just do it, and good things will happen. Have a positive attitude. Don't let doors shut that you would not otherwise walk through. What I mean by that is, if someone says, hey, you should do this or you should do that, and you really don't want to, you should think about it twice. And then if it's something that you really, really want later on in life, take advantage of it. The goals I have now that I've made chief is to be the best chief that I can be in the squadron that I am assigned to. As far as going further, I will cross that bridge as it comes up, but to be the best chief in the squadron that I am, where people can count on me to do the things that they need me to do.